of the destinations on this list are within short range of the United States, so if you don't want to fly too far, this is the list for you for top beach destinations next year. Four of these destinations don't even require a United States passport. And remember, the best beach is the one you are on. Let's dive right into our number eight beach destination for Americans next year. This is Ocean City, Maryland. As you can see, there are dolphins, just an absolutely beautiful beach, and all within driving range of big cities on the East Coast. This is about two hours from DC. It's got a vibrant nightlife scene. That's Secrets. It's a great club, as you can see. This beach is huge. There are tons of hotels to stay at, so you never feel like it's too crowded. Overall, this is a great place. You'll love it. Up next in our countdown is number seven. We have another U.S. destination. Technically, this is a territory of the United States. This is Puerto Rico, and specifically, this is San Juan. San Juan has numerous beaches, but this one in particular is well sheltered from the waves so you can get in and enjoy the water without actually having to worry. A lot of the other beaches in San Juan are somewhat dangerous as there are many reports of people getting swept away to sea, but not this one. As you can see those rocks, they break up a good bit of those waves, leaving it perfectly safe for families to enjoy the shallow waters, which are filled with lots of bluefish. San Juan also has a very vibrant nightlife atmosphere. Just walking around is awesome. Old San Juan, the historic district, it just really comes to life at night. There are bars everywhere, there's clubs everywhere, people having a great time. Definitely on the list if you're here, just check it out. Like this bar called Factoria, which has four bars inside of it, it's actually quite a sight to see. If you like salsa dancing, this is your place. Coming up next in our countdown is number six. Also in the United States, we have California's beautiful Santa Cruz. There are several hidden beaches just north of the boardwalk that are pristine. Tons of beautiful scenery. Many feature rock formations like this arch. This specifically is Panther Beach. This is the place you want to come to if you want to get that great picture. Number five on the list is one of two Mexican beach destinations. This is Cancun, and as you can see, this is just picture perfect. Nice turquoise water, white sandy beaches. There are turtles out there. Nightlife wise, you really can't beat it. There's a couple places that are just world class. Probably the best clubs that I've ever been to at a beach location. This one's called Coco Bongo, and if you haven't been there, you definitely have to try this out. That water really is that color in real life. It's splendid. Coming up next, number four, we have Cabo San Lucas, which is on the western coast of Mexico. The water may be a little colder, but the beaches are awesome. There's quite a few rocks out in them, which gives them that cool color. There are a lot of activities like sport fishing. We did actually catch a marlin, that was awesome. Oh! Got a breach, Whoa, Whoa, cool. But if you're not into being on a boat, there's tons of golf courses out there, maybe 12 that I've been to. They are a little pricey though, so bring some cash. But overall, you won't get bored, the family won't get bored. There's lots to do in the day, lots to do at night. and I just cannot highlight how much sea life is in that ocean at that particular point because you have the Sea of Cortez and the Pacific Ocean mixing there. You'll see humpback whales, you'll see all different types of sport fish.
if you go out from the marina with some fish on your boat, you will definitely meet the famous seal. That's him. He's awesome. He's famous. You can see him in a lot of videos on social media. And another thing about Pablo, the beaches just don't stop. This beach is Santa Maria. There's another one a few miles down called Palmia. And they just keep going on and on. And as you can see, each of them are cooler than the last. So many options for you and the family. Coming up at number three is Anguilla, which features some of the most pristine beaches I had ever been to. Nestled out in the Eastern Caribbean, this destination is one of the least frequented beaches in the world. As you can see, the water is perfectly clear. The sand here is unique and it gets its unique white rosy appearance from the coral that has been crushed up and shells as you can see there. It definitely was the most comfortable sand to walk on out of them all. Get ready for number two. We go back to the United States, specifically Florida, where we're stopping by Miami. And boy, this place is great. There's beautiful people everywhere. Specifically, this is ranked number four in the world with most attractive people. Oh my God. And as you can see, there is no shortage of them. The beach is great. The food's awesome. There are cruise ships going out. Everybody's dancing. The clubs are great at night. If you are going on a cruise, I definitely recommend that you get a couple days in Miami before or after the cruise gets back to a port here. Just another day exploring the best beaches in the world. This is South Beach, Miami, and boy, is this a beautiful day. I found a spot where I could walk out about 100, maybe 200 feet, still stand up. This place is just amazing. If you haven't already, like and subscribe now to experience more of these beaches. I don't know if the subscribe button's here or there, but do it. Aruba is the number one destination for Americans next year. It features at least a dozen of the best beaches that I've ever been to. The water is warm year round. There's tons of activities. Snorkeling is the best here. You will not find any shortage of fish. Snorkeling here is the best I've ever seen at any destination. The snorkeling is world class. All you gotta do is put on your mask and some fins and jump in and you will see a lot. will love this, the kids will love this, the whole family is gonna have a great time here. There's lots of places to explore. This beach is deserted. No one here, it's all to yourself. There's great nightlife activities, the food is spot on, and the best part about it, Aruba is one of the cheapest destinations to get to. It's actually cheaper than flying into Miami. And that's it. That's the list of the best beach destinations for Americans next year. Thank you for watching and have a great one. Get out there and explore the world, people. You'll love it.